For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. <clears throat> if it even takes us back to Arlefin. Nev, you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right. Let's take a look around and see if we can find... Strife? Irulan? What are you doing back in Arlathan? Long story. Isn't it always with you? And did I hear you're going by Rook now? Nev, this is Strife and Irulan. They're veil jumpers like me. Experts in elven magic. I worked with them before Harding and Varric recruited me. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? Thought you were supposed to stop him. Or did unforeseen complications lead to unforeseen consequences, again? We found Solus and stopped his ritual, but things took a turn. The magic went wild. Solus was dragged into the Fade, into some kind of prison. But when he went in, something, or someone, else got out. Elgrenon and Gilanane, supposedly. Mythalanost. The return of our gods, the Evanuris. If those two are back out in the world, it explains a lot. Like what? Artifacts that have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Something that would need a source of tremendous magical energy, like two of our old gods. Anything you can tell us about these gods? Solus might be a bastard, but compared to the Avenuris, let's just say they weren't known for being kind rulers. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Avenuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. Of all the ancient things to unearth, of course, it had to be two of the Evanuris. And of course, it had to be you that unearthed them. Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Belara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. You get your friend back to your camp and... <sighs> we'll find Balara. Nev, I need you to stay with Strife and Irulan, all right? I'm fine. You're the best detective in Minrathis. You can help the Veil Jumpers here. If trouble shows up, they could use your skills. Fair enough. We'll meet you back at the Vale Jumper Camp. It's just south of here. Valara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And... Gotcha! Oh! People! 
you come from? Bellara? Bellara Luter? Strifenirlin sent us to find you. Wait! Didn't you used to be a Veil Jumper? You left with Varric! What was your name? Rook. At least that's the nickname Varric gave me. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. The Elven Gods Elgernon and Gilanane have escaped Fenharel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was going to head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Strife in Ireland said you're their best Veil Jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. Maybe. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it, safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. Well then, let's get going. Mythalinast. Dark spawn. Okay, here it is. The Nodis Durthalin. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Right. Because dark spawn, demons, and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The way the magic is pulsing, I've never seen this before. It's almost like it's breathing. wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. Oh, what does that crystal do? 
keeps the artifact powered, focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh, no, you don't. Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nadas Dirthara. Right, um, I have questions. I am the Nadas Dirthara. What do you. So that's the Nautis Durthalan? It was, or is, I mean. Crystal's broken though, needs fixing. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. Strife and Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp. Ready to go? Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. wounded, 16 on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Jahel Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn too, near the Nadis Durthalan. Wait, you found the Nadis Durthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods, figure out their next move. If it weren't broken, maybe, but we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out there took them. I know, but maybe if we find them. We find the gods, or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Demetta's Crossing. What? Irulan and Strife, when we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. Four, I'm coming with you. Nev, you were still shaky, and... I'm coming, Harding. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good, but you'd be saving people, and it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetta's Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Try not to die, or make things worse. And Rook. Yeah? Watch your back. 